I don't get it. Time's up. Sorry that I failed to mention your exams. I was busy dealing with some of Shido's cronies. Well, you are students, so it's only fitting you're doing a study group. You're gonna bring us some snacks now and then, right? You don't even have exams. Pardon the intrusion. Well, oh, glad to see you all. Don't mind me. Make yourselves at home. You're too kind. We'll take you up on that offer. Well, why did you bring me here? My school's exams are already over. Come on, don't be so cold. You saying it's fine if I fail? Nothing wrong with that. Won't the results be the same whether you study or not? Now, now, you guys. Just think of it as helping me out. I don't know about this. I'm just going to focus on sections that may likely be on the test. You're way too short on time. Making a gamble, huh? If she's wrong, we die. Uh, I don't want to die. Um, is it really that bad? This is every day for them. This affects you, too. Well, with your grades, I'm not too worried. But you've missed a lot of classes, so it couldn't hurt to study. Oh, yeah. He's good at studying. Oh, I feel kind of betrayed. And betrayed might be a bit much. Don't worry, Lady On. 
Even if you're not great at studying, I'll... Now then, let's get to it. What do you want me to teach you? Japanese, huh? Wait, what did we study again? Oh, uh, crows! Uh, how to go again? Crows are black, so... Did we study that? It's Japanese class, so they were probably talking about kanji. The kanji for crow is the same as bird, but it's missing the line that represents the eye. That's because a crow's eyes are the same color as its feathers, so you can't see them at a glance. Whoa, you were able to remember that much just from what An said? How about taking a break? Uh, sounds good to me. I can't do any more. So, like, we've been doing Phantom Thief work all this time, right? We learned a bunch doing that. Even if we study and learn what we can in school, uh, doesn't it feel kind of pointless? Right? I think I stumbled onto something pretty good. Those sorts of experiences are important, too. But common sense is just as important. You should know better than anyone how nasty adults without common sense can be. That's a great point. Someday you'll graduate high school and become adults. Then, when you get married, you'll need common sense more than ever. Marriage, huh? Do you want to get married? Well, that won't be for a while. In the meantime, I'm more concerned with what I'm going to be eating tomorrow. Oh, cut it out, man. You're making me hungry. Well, I guess we just gotta get back to studying. That concludes the last subject. Ah, uh, that took so long. We covered all the difficult parts, so you should probably be fine. Good work, everyone. See? You can do it if you try. Uh, we're finally done. Only God, uh, on, only knows. What, how, how's that saying go again? Ryuji's hopeless. What did you say? Well, whatever happens, happens. Isn't it about time you wrapped it up? Be careful on your way home. Sucks that you have to do exams even after changing Shido's heart and saving the country. It's rough being a human. But looking at you, I feel kind of jealous of humans. Hey. Right. I see. Nice.
Okay. Well then. Nice! about this. <laughs> Good morning. It's exams. <clears throat> We're the heroes who saved this country, right? Can't we be exempt from exams? And is it just me, or do we not have as big a sense of accomplishment as I thought? It. People are so doubtful even after the press conference. He hasn't been arrested, so I guess that's expected. We just gotta leave it to Makoto's sister now. Man, I wish exams would magically disappear by the time we get to school. since we last met at school like this. 
thank you for your efforts in changing Representative Shido's heart. Oh, if anything, you're the one deserving all of the thanks, Senpai. We should go somewhere to celebrate. Ah, oh, what say we go pay our first respects to the shrine? A new year's about to begin and all. But I suppose we ought to deal with exams first. I'll be in touch afterwards. Please excuse me. All right, let's begin.
Good morning. Now everyone. Shucks. Today's the last day of exams. Are things going well for you? I'm doing the same as usual. Well, no problems. I'm all right with it, but my sister hasn't come home these past few days. I think she has a lot on her plate with building a case against Shido. He has connections to powerful people. I'm sure they want him cleared to save their own skins. Yeah. Still, Shido confessed already. That is an indisputable fact. And it's my sister. She'll see it through, I'm sure. But that said, now isn't the time for us to slack off either. Do you remember what the exams will cover? I'll check on the train for you. Let's get started.
good day. Let us head off. the truth.
There, they announced the poor health of their leader, Masayoshi Shido. As such, the special diet session was postponed, along with Shido's inauguration as Prime Minister. Postponed? They should be firing him! And wait, poor health? This is completely different from what my sister told us. I heard he barely slept during the election campaign. I don't blame him. He's not going to step down now, is he? Will this country be fine without Shido? How can people still believe in him? 
What the heck? The Phantom Thieves are being treated like, well, like they never existed. Goodness. No link among the change of heart incidents. Only coincidental psychiatric disorders. The Phantom Thieves only use those rumors to their advantage. This is preposterous. Who would believe such things? But the person saying this is a famous researcher. And even the Ministry is saying that's how they determined the situation, too. When's Shido gonna make a comeback? Honestly, I don't think anyone else but Shido can handle times like these. What's going on? No matter how you look at it, this isn't normal. Yeah, it's as if the people in reality have become distorted. What's happening here worries me, but the only thing we can do right now is wait and see what happens. What do you mean I can't question him at this point? Mr. Shido is in an extremely unstable state. I can't allow you to get in contact with him. He may officially have to undergo a psychiatric evaluation at this rate. We are at the cusp of making a case. Do you know how much trouble we've gone through to get this far? I'm just doing my job as a doctor. Even if Shido was behind it, do you plan on convicting a central figure behind such a historical change? What? Don't be ridiculous. This is a country governed by law. You still want to protect him even though you know what happened to the man previously at your post. So, you plan on taking the head of the nation to court. You need to take a break, Nijima. I'm taking you off this case, especially since it's rumored you have ties to the Phantom Thieves. What? If I recall correctly, you still aren't married, are you? You'll be on leave for a long time. Why not look for a husband while you're at it? The assembly of Shido's case is in danger? We know he doesn't need a psychiatric evaluation! His lackeys must have pressured the others around him. It means there's far more people who'd be in trouble if the truth came out than we imagined. Isn't there anything we can do? Sis said the assembly of a case may be possible if the general public wants Shido held accountable. But even that chance has been destroyed with the manipulation of the mass media. They made it clear that the argument itself was a cult, even claiming that it never happened. As a result, the Phantom Thieves are still labeled as criminals, even after all that's happened. It's a storm of criticisms online, too. People are saying to catch the remnants and execute them. This is crazy. At any rate, let's wait for my sister. She should be arriving here soon. Everyone's being tricked so easily. Why the hell did we risk our lives then? If Shido isn't judged by the law, everything we've done will be treated as if it never happened. Moving the entire country however they wish by controlling people's cognition? This is no different than being inside a palace. I'm sorry. I gathered the best of the best and fought for a case. But as Makoto must have told you, it was denied. At this rate, it won't end with just Shido's innocence. This trend will continue spiraling down. There's even the possibility that crimes using the metaverse will advance onto a national scale. But that's not what I'm here to tell you. We're in danger because we know the truth. It's only a matter of time before we're apprehended. It wouldn't be odd if they were to charge in now. This makes no effing sense! Sis! There's nothing more I can do with my resources. That's why... I want to ask for your help. I wondered if there was any way you could do something one last time. I know that I'm in no position to ask this of you. That doesn't matter to us. So what are we gonna do? Should we change the hearts of all Shido's followers? Even if Futaba were to research all of them, It'd take time. There's too little information. We can only target individuals. Are we no match against the national power? Mementos. 
If we use mementos, we might be able to do something. There's something we can do there? Like I told you before, mementos is the palace of the general public. It's the source of all distortions, and is maintained by the people's collective unconsciousness. Wait, do you mean that there's a treasure even in mementos? And if we go after that... The collapse of mementos should affect the public as a whole. The state of society would change too. If everyone's hearts grow to hold Shido responsible for his actions, things might start going our way. That's a bold plan, but an interesting one. Sounds good to me! But if we're gonna do this, there's one thing you all need to realize. To begin with, why does something like the human cognition exist as another substantial world? The reason for that is most likely sleeping within mementos. We'll be destroying that, you know. I don't see where you're going with this. The human cognition will lose substance, so you can't sneak into people's palaces anymore. So if other criminals appear, you won't be able to steal their treasure and change their hearts. It means the Phantom Thieves will be going out of business. We'll have to discard this way of life. <sighs> I think we need to do this. I mean, we're the group who's reforming society, right? What do you think? As our leader, you lose your powers if Mementos is erased. Will you still do it? I see. All right. It seems there are no objections. Did you come up with a plan? Whether it succeeds or not is another story, though. Miss Prosecutor, looks like this is gonna be our last job. Last job? Once we accomplish our duty, we entrust the world to respectful adults. That is our condition for accepting this job. This is a deal, then. That's certainly a heavy condition. But very well, I accept. I swear to make Masayo Shishido stand and be tried in the court of law. Besides, my pride won't allow me to be continually saved by you all without doing anything in return. We'll be counting on you. Looks like it's decided, then. You're the leader, and this is officially our last mission. Come on, say something. We already said that before, though. <laughs> That's fine. We're doing it for real this time, after all. We don't have much time, right? We should carry this out tomorrow. I'm counting on you guys. No matter what happens, you better see it through.
Hey. Actually, never mind. You must be tired. Honestly, you're amazing. There's definitely something special about you. You dodge everything the enemies throw at you like it's your destiny. At first, I just thought you were going to be a useful tool for me. But now, this is where I belong. Well, maybe in regard to this attic place, but this is where I want to be. It's not like me to say all that embarrassing stuff, but still, I think it's fine. For tonight, at least. To a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the magician, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. We should rest in preparation for tomorrow. He's repelled such an ordeal, and this guy's still not being rewarded for it? If gods really do exist, they're being too hard on him. Delight, inmate. We gave you words of praise, but we take them all back. The source of what was hindering your rehabilitation. To think it would be the ignorant masses to which you tried to prove your integrity. Did they themselves not show elation for those who are unseen? Despite all that, they now say you do not exist. They toyed with you 
yet none take responsibility. The distortion of man's world is endlessly deep. Fixing it may now be impossible, even with the appearance of a trickster. M master <gasps> It seems this is the limit of humanity. The time of ruin is nigh. One due to the distortion of man's own heart, from which none can escape. <sighs> Okay. Okay, let's go. Good morning. It's finally time. You think it'll go well? Right. It's something only we can do. See you at the usual place after school. I'll tell everyone to come. Hey, check out the nav. The door to the depths of mementos has been opened. Wait, does that mean... We're really gonna do this, right? Of course. Why are you asking now? Well... I just thought, what am I gonna do if you guys freak out and bail on me? We're going to erase mementos, aren't we? Come on, let's go, you guys! Mona sure seems hyped up. Say... Isn't Mona-chan behaving... a little odd? You know, you're right. Yeah... Shouldn't have brought that up. Shall we get going? So, uh, this shit here's that door to the depths, right? It should be. Why? What's wrong? I don't know. It looks just like all the other ones. I was thinking it's a little disappointing. Maybe we worked too hard to get down here or something. The lack of unforeseen circumstances is nothing to complain about. Let us continue. What 
is this? It's some big fossil looking thing. So this must be the treasure. Wait, look on the side. It's the train running down to Mementos. So this is where that crowd of people was trying to reach? People are walking in and out of there, so the other side of the wall must be... Wait, it's not a wall, but a giant door? Guess that means the treasure's not here. Come on, let's stay focused. Seriously, a door? How are we supposed to get past? It opened straight away. I bet that means the inner depths the MetaNav was talking about before are right ahead. Hold on. The door only opens from this side. What do you mean? Well, it took a quick peek at the mechanism inside the door. And it looks like you can only open it from here. We can get in, but nothing can get out. It's as though whatever lies within has been locked away. Wait, so you're saying that the people going in there are choosing a life of imprisonment? I have never felt such eeriness before. What is this place? We'll find out once we reach the depths. Come on, let's go. Come on, man. this place. I have no intention of leaving this place. They feel safe being here? What are you saying? You're being kept in a prison. 
this reminds me of Kamoshida's castle. They're like the slaves we saw there. That's right. This place is the best in the end. In the depths within is a system that grants desires. A system that grants... desires? Something like that exists? Here? It's no use. You can't reason with these people. I feel safe. They're truly distorted, just like the scenery here. You end up searching for stuff or being troubled because you're outside the prison. There are things you don't need to know to live on. He's right. Things like the details on the system, the locked quarantine cell. Quarantine? Who's locked in there? Supposedly a great and truly dangerous criminal. But who would want to check a place like that? Come now, we don't have to chat like this. Why not come inside? Uh. Uh. Why are you out and about? Where are your restraints? Oh, crap! Removing your restraints is not allowed. Outsiders must be eliminated. That was careless of us. It should be no surprise that a prison has guards. Wait a sec. This is everyone's palace, right? Not like Kamoshida's castle. Who's keeping these people here? Mona-chan? I remember now. I've seen this place before. Hold on, though. It wasn't open until we came here today. Sorry. It's just a sense I'm getting. Still, it feels like I'm really close to remembering something important. You know, coming in here was what you wanted from the beginning. We just gotta keep moving on. I don't care. On top of that, I'm curious to know who the ruler of this place is. I don't care. Yeah, you're right. I don't care. Wait, what about these people? Leave them be. They'll be taken care of if we erase mementos. Hey, it's dangerous to keep standing around here. Let's get going. Show me your true form.
Yep, yep. Show me your true form. What do we do? I'll reveal your true form.
I'll reveal your true form. Show me your true form. Huh? Is there a safe room around here somewhere? Hmm. This area seems sound. Let's secure it as our safe room. They're not onto us yet. All right, let's roll. We don't have time to go down on foot. What? You're... K Kamoshida? Since... No. Madarame. Kanashiro's over here. Is President Okumura here too? Father isn't around anymore. Sorry. No, it's okay. More importantly, look there. Masayo Shishido. The hell's going on? These guys should have had a change of heart from their palaces disappearing. Hmm. Your bond's as great as always. Come on, come closer. You creep! <laughs> I'm joking. I don't want any more trouble. I finally get to live without having to think for myself now. I mistakenly thought myself to be talented. But now I think I'm a fool for wanting too much. It's no wonder people who can't take a hint get yelled at. I'm done acting like a big shot. Who cares if I'm stupid? It's not like you get punished for being dumb. Nobody needs to strive to be more than they really are. These people seem completely different than they were before. I don't think it's because they had a change of heart, though. Wait. Have they chosen a life of captivity after they lost their distorted desires? Unfortunately, Okumura isn't here with us. Nothing can be done for the dead. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. Thank you for the details. Now, if you don't mind, what in the world is this place? It's supposedly called the Prison of Regression. Regression? More importantly, does this look like captivity to you? Why? It's the exact opposite. The utmost freedom is available to anyone who desires it here. This is the freedom to not make decisions. The release from having to think for yourself. 
It is far more marvelous than the country I wish to create. Release from having to think? But that's... However, there are some fools who cannot stay put in this place. In other words, they are escaped convicts. Of course, I'm talking about our past selves. Such people are segregated from this peaceful world and locked away in their own palaces. So those are the palace rulers. I really gotta thank you for changing my heart. I got to come back here after all. We sent him back here? I don't understand. Just what have we been doing by using the cognitive world? Get a hold of yourself, Inari! Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Having the freedom to not make your own decisions only means that someone else is controlling you. Tell me, who is the ruler here? Who made all of this? What an odd question to ask. It should be obvious. Every member of the general public. Haven't you learned anything in school? The collective ruler of a democratic country is its people. Don't lie out of your ass like that! I mean, there was a guard here earlier. That means someone's gotta be looking out for you guys, right? You may be right. We are the ones looking out upon everyone else. No. So the ones who least want the prison to be tampered with are the prisoners themselves? It don't matter what this guy's talking about. We're gonna erase all of Mementos anyways. Come on, let's keep going. Mona, the treasure's in the deepest part, right? Mona? I do remember this place. I saw the humans in here, and realized I looked different than them for some reason. Right. That's when I started to think I wanted to turn into a human. Is that why you thought you would regain your true form if we destroyed mementos? Sorry, I'm still missing a lot of my memories, but I know I started randomly checking a bunch of palaces. Then my next memory is about that bastard Kamoshida's. Yeah, I'm starting to remember more. What are you doing here? again and there are more of them this time damn it we got careless let's run i've discovered some escaped inmates catch them at once your true form. Reveal your true form. That shadow has show me your true form. your true form. Huh? 
I'll reveal your true form. Show me your true form. I'll reveal your true form. Show me your true form. <laughs> the effects of cognition are low here. Is there a safe room nearby? We can use this place as a safe room. Okay, let's go. This is strange. Let's go. By the way... Show me your true form.
Seriously? It's still going further down? We're so far underground at this point. I hope we don't suddenly find ourselves in a giant pool of lava. Still, we gotta keep going. this be that quarantine cell? Supposedly, the most sinful, most dangerous inmate is held within. This... this place smells familiar for some reason. Monotan? There's no mistake. This is it. I was born here. Born? Inside the prison? Wait, then are you the dangerous inmate? No, the inmate wasn't me. But I remember this place. Someone created me here to guide all of you. Guide? And who is this someone? Oh, oh, I can't remember. Damn it. I'm so close. But my memory is too foggy. You know, hearing all this just makes me want to know what's inside. We found them. The escapees are in front of the isolated cell. Alert! Alert! Capture them at once! Crap! We're surrounded! We gotta win this, guys! In my name! This place seems to be under high alert now. We should keep going. Given how important this cell appears to be, the depths of Mementos must be near. Mona's memories may return if we continue on. Yeah. So, we're finally getting close to the public's treasure, huh? Now that I think about it, it makes sense Mementos would connect to some place like underneath Shibuya. Everyone crams themselves into packed underground boxes day after day without any complaints. From my standpoint, those are the true inmates of Mementos. It's no surprise the places are connected. You know, 
The voices of the public may have led the Phantom Thieves on more than any criminal. Seriously! Let's hurry up and steal that treasure so we can crush Mementos. We truly are reforming society. Let's go! Reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form. Focus. I'll reveal your true form. Show me your true form.
I'll reveal your true form. your true form. I can feel it. I'll reveal your true form. Feeling. I think there's a safe room around here. Ah, a safe room. We're good here. They're not onto us yet. All right, let's roll. is this it's huge i didn't realize such a gigantic place existed here is this where everyone's treasure is held yeah that should be the case 
But this ominously bizarre air about it, it almost feels like a temple of sorts. Although... Look, th there's no point freaking out now. Come on, let's go. these all prison cells and what's that thing in the middle whatever it is it looks disgustingly grand there are no other passages leading out of this room it appears this is our final destination the depths of mementos in that case is the treasure of mementos somewhere in here I think you're right. I've never been here, but I can sense it. There's no mistaking that presence. If we get rid of it... <sighs> if we get rid of it, the public should come to its senses. But something that large will be impossible to carry out of here. We just gotta make it disappear, right? If we can't move it, then we'll just have to destroy it. Yeah, that will work. Once we do that, the entire metaverse is going to disappear, right? This is finally it. Oh, I guess it's no surprise we've been discovered. That thing isn't gonna sit back and let itself get destroyed. Even the inmates are starting to liven up. How eerie. They're planning something. That must mean this thing's gotta be the treasure. He saved us the trouble of checking. Hold on. Something's off. Shido said the masses are allowing themselves to be held captive here. Could they truly be operating this gigantic system that eliminates intruders on its own? The prison guards and soldiers were very organized, too. Are you trying to say that someone else rules this place? Is it not the public? <laughs> what was that? We don't have time to worry about that. Leave it for later. All right, guys. We better not lose now. Let's hurry up and destroy this thing. Everyone, give it your all. All right, let's do it. Persona!
Grail? Seems hopeless if there are this many inmates supporting it. You fools. Human, yet wishing to eradicate the desires of humanity. Who's that? Repent. The treasure's talking. I am revered as the granter of dreams for all who behold me. A being most commonly known as the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. The prison of regression is representative of the collective desires of humanity. They wish to be chained down, surrender their cognition, and neglect the world around them. These feeble-minded common folk will make your social reform all for naught. The shared heart of the masses has fallen into an excess of indolence and transformed into a prison. In that thing. Thus, the only suitable end for them is to perish within the prison they wished for themselves. Get ready! Here it comes! Hell yeah! The boss. 
time that thing heals, its color changes. Persona! really how people feel. There's no way we'll be able to steal their hearts. We've come here for nothing. This is horrible. You imbeciles are intoxicated by an undesired justice. This is the will of the children of man who have fallen into sloth. My shine is proof that they desire my existence. As long as humanity yearns for me, I shall never perish. Is this really what everyone wants? Stop thinking and be guided by the Holy Grail? Yes. It's so frustrating, it makes me want to cry. But I... I will never agree. The humans I look up to aren't like that. No matter how painful reality is, it's all over if you don't try to change how things are. I'm not the only one who believes that. Everyone here agrees. We don't want to turn back into the people we used to be. That's why we risked our lives coming here. Mona-chan. He's right. Humanity already wishes for their distortions to be actualized. I am merely the being that will ultimately grant those wishes. Now, it is time I refrain from my place in this world and begin to encroach upon reality itself. That's a load of shit! Encroach? What is it gonna do? Hey, this doesn't look good! I've got a bad feeling about this. Mona, what should we do? I don't know what you are, but you can't keep arbitrarily deciding all this on your own. Humans aren't all stupid like you say they are. Hmm. Indolent, foolish humans, you shall offer your hearts to me. <laughs> now. The time for the fusion has come. Hey, the grounds! It's vanishing? <laughs> Hell no! Everything now. Ow. Is everyone okay? Uh, of course we are. Oh, hey, our clothes are back to normal. Look. Huh? Shibuya? We're back. We didn't come back ourselves, though. We must have been driven out by the Holy Grail. Did we lose? <sighs> right. 
Shibuya? Is this what it meant by the fusion? Uh, what's going on here? What is... God, how come they're not seeing any of this at all? You gotta be shitting me! <laughs> huh? What is this, a dream? Huh? <laughs> the hell is this? What's going on? Kaoru! Kaoru! Is this scenery... for real? What on earth? This is impossible. Why doesn't anyone notice this? Damn, looks like I should take this seriously. Huh? No way! Wait, what the... What's this pink stuff? Hmm? <laughs> no. Something wrong has happened to the world. Hmm? What's going on here? What the hell's happening here? I can't believe this. Why is everyone acting normal? Don't they see this? I hope those kids are safe. This isn't a world inside a game, right? Everyone else isn't seeing this? Man, what great weather. Wanna go for a drive? Hello, yes, it's about tomorrow's preliminary meeting. Uh, the announcement for the new smartphones tonight. What are the Phantom Thieves all about anyway? Oh man, hearing that brings back memories. I feel so dumb for even believing they existed. It was fun news, though. Well, I doubt anyone believes they're around anymore. Why isn't anyone noticing this abnormality? It's probably because they don't feel that it's odd. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I feel woozy. Futaba, grab on! Anton? Is this by the Holy Grail, too? That son of a bitch! God damn it! What's this creepy ass shit about? Ah! Disappear from the people's cognition. That damn voice! Mementos and reality have become one. The stones who have disappeared from cognition cannot exist anywhere. Disappear my ass! 
What the hell? Yeah! Is this really it? No! No! Morgana, where did we go wrong? Is this all my fault? Because I brought you all there? Damn it! I'm sorry. The mission's a failure. In the end, your rehabilitation was not carried through. It appears I have overestimated you. <laughs> you incompetent prisoner! The assistance that we provided was all for naught. Humans are more apathetic and more foolish than I had thought them to be. The world will soon see its ruin. You have lost the game. You were meant to bring change to mankind as a trickster, but it seems that was too much for you. In accordance to the game's rules, the defeated must pay a price. Your life is forfeit. I sentence you to be executed. <gasps> executed? God's decree is absolute. My experiment has come to naught. Everything is over. Grant that man a swift death. If that's what our master wishes. It, it just means that you weren't an upstanding prisoner that may be true but what is the matter carry out his sentence at once are we really going to kill him don't falter now it's all his fault for losing the game all right inmate we now proceed to the execution of your sentence. How insolent! To think you'd still show your rebellious will after all that. Ready, Justine? If our master orders so, then it cannot be helped. Let us show our strength to this prisoner who just doesn't know when to give up. Understood. Death to the criminal. One's final moments should be spent in good grace. How's this? Here goes. This power. Caroline, it's as I thought. What's the matter? I told you not to falter. Are you going against our master's orders? Eat this! Take this. No, this isn't right. Our 
our duty isn't to kill him. Caroline! What gives? <laughs> Why am I doubting myself? Is there another duty left to us? I believe I ordered his execution. Uh. Uh. Master, have you forsaken humanity? We are wardens, those who rehabilitate prisoners. What? Something speaks to me in my mind. Our true duty is not to kill. Help! We are not executioners. That is the truth we had forgotten. We've decided. We will not forsake humanity. <laughs> Your right eye... ...and my left. It's as if they're the same... ...yet mirrored. Time for our wish to be realized. I finally remember how we were torn apart. We were originally one, yet we were torn asunder into halves by malevolent intent. <laughs> so we were captives, same as you. Huh. <laughs> to think we'd learn that truth from a prisoner. Let us reclaim our true form. Hey! We'll give you your last job. Be thankful and obey! You must fuse us together with your own hands. It's time you return the favor for us assisting with your growth. Do it with care! Now, fuse us! My name is Lavenza. I was torn apart by a malevolent will and took the form of those twins. I sought help before my body was split in two. If we lose you, the path to the Holy Grail will forever be closed. That's why you must recall the truth once more. And I beg of you, Please, save us. I believed in you. I knew that you would make it thus far. And to the scoundrel who has swindled my master's name, your lies shall work no longer now that my sight has been restored. The game isn't over yet. Whether the human world is left as is, or destroyed and rebuilt, it is all sport to me. Be careful. If I were to put it into words that you can comprehend, 
I am the Holy Grail that grants wishes. No, it may be more accurate to say that I am a god who responds to desire and holds dominion over man. I hope seeing a righteous need vanquish evil would spur mankind to change their own indolent hearts. However, the result is, as you know, the masses have made it so none of it has transpired. Humans should be met with ruin. You brought forth that answer. But to be frank, inmate, I believe it may be worth re-evaluating you. A human has reached the Holy Grail and has seen through my true identity. You've surprised the god that I am often enough. That cannot be done by a foolish commoner. You truly were a prisoner that did not bore me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the fool, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Perhaps observing you a while longer may prove amusing. I shall grant you an opportunity to make a deal with me. Should you wish it, I shall return the world to its prior state, one rampant with distorted masses. You forcefully dragged him into the metaverse and imposed an ordeal he did not deserve. Yet you still intend on toying with him? The Phantom Thieves will be praised and gain fame. The world will escape ruin as well. What say you? It's been quite a while since I last stepped foot in this place. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. He is the rightful master of this Velvet Room, the true aid on your journey. It may be difficult for you to understand this all at once. If I were to summarize this, the fake has left, and the real has returned. Indeed. My master has returned, and you won against that malevolent god's temptation. Thus, you may be able to save this world that is headed towards certain ruin. However, it will prove difficult to win against him with your power alone. You must release your teammates, with whom you've shared your conviction. <laughs> this place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. They have not necessarily expired yet. Just as you were trapped here, they should be confined somewhere as well. Since you've deepened your bond with them, 
I am certain you can release them. Once they, the Phantom Thieves, are all gathered here, we will tell you everything. Now go forth to the people whom you should be facing the truth with. Joker! What a relief! You're safe! I'm not sure what happened, but we seem to be alive. By the way, why have you remained in your Phantom Thief attire while I'm back in regular clothes? Could this mean that the Will of Rebellion is no longer within me? <laughs> that may be true. We have to fight that Holy Grail again, correct? Could you imagine defeating it, Joker? That monster has the support of the masses. And with it, nearly an infinite amount of power. I... No matter which way I approach the subject in my head, nothing points to our victory. I think I finally... genuinely understand the pain my father and my sister were burdened with. Victory against a single criminal is meaningless. The true enemy is society itself. And even against that foe, you still have to try to somehow emerge victorious. I don't know what to do. Believe in myself? <laughs> you got me. Regardless, this isn't a situation with a straightforward answer, but even if there is no clear solution, I'll just have to make one with my own two hands. Before you guys came along, my life was defined by rules, set on a path of someone else's choosing. But only a true loser would live such a rigid life. I... I will win. Even if it means going up against the entire world. I'm okay. My resolve was shaken, but it's stronger now. I want the people of the world to see what you've shown me. Right. Thank you. Having teammates you can trust is a great feeling. Shall we go? We can't let our last big job end in failure. Hey. I see. Yes. Joker, as I expected, you appear to be safe. However, where exactly are we? Velvet room? I'm not sure I understand. At first, I was surprised to see the masses chained in a prison. Yet, here I am as well, considering the state of the real world. It is hard to say that we were even remotely helpful. This situation... Can we truly handle such horrid circumstances? 
All the Phantom Thieves can do is change the hearts of others. However, the world outside has become a veritable hell. Nothing within our power can fix that. I'm merely acknowledging how powerless I am. The people of this world desired their enslavement, and that isn't all. They screamed at us for attacking the Holy Grail, defended it. Even the criminals whose hearts we changed became meek followers of the Holy Grail because of us. Were we truly that foolish? Risking our lives for a result nobody desired. I... That's right. It wasn't just for recognition from those we were helping. My purpose lies elsewhere. When we first met, you continued to impose yourselves on me, no matter how much I pushed you away. I will forever treasure what you did for me. Very well. Just as art is meant to break boundaries, people should be saved even if they frown upon it. I won't allow the justice I believe in to be shaken any further. Allow me to thank you, Joker. Being by your side truly gives rise to the greatest ideas. Ah, yes. We cannot afford to leave reality in the hellish state it's currently in. I will make use of my role as an artist and paint over the distortions of society. Well then, time to go and see this through. I'll witness with my own two eyes that this world isn't bound by some holy grail. Well then. We will be counting on you. Goodness, you're safe. You sure are impressive. Huh. So, I'm not in heaven after all. That means the hell that Shibuya turned into was all real. <sighs> I'm so weak. When I thought I was gonna die, I... started trembling. I was just so scared. At that moment, Nothing mattered. The justice of our actions was the last thing on my mind. Joker, you kept going, even through a plan that might have ended up killing you. Yet look at me. I've always said I'm doing this for other people. But that didn't get me far. <laughs> it's no wonder we lost. Maybe I should have just behaved myself and stayed out of all this. That's... You're right. I can never abandon her. If I whine like this now, I'd just be betraying Shiho. No. I'd be betraying myself. I could never forget how I felt that day. I... I never want anyone to have to go through what I did. I've made up my mind. I'm going to keep looking forward. Things like dying or losing aren't important now. All that matters is that I don't return to my old self. I'll never make a mistake like that again. I swear it. Thanks, Joker. You helped me remember what's really important. I seriously treasure being able to be a part of your team. Gotcha, Joker. It would be a disgrace to the Phantom Thieves' name if we didn't take such a big treasure. We're going to put an end to this, aren't we? Let's go! Hey!
Hey. me on top of that you really are an amazing person joker considering everything that has happened to the city i wonder if the citizenry is okay although it seemed like we were the only ones able to see it you know the moment i disappeared i honestly thought i was about to die but part of me wasn't afraid i knew that was all i could do and looked forward to apologizing to father face to face. Honestly, I thought I had changed, but I realize now that I still have no control over my life. It makes me sick. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to deal with my whining. You're going to try and defeat that thing again, aren't you? Don't push yourself to get me to come along. You can always leave me here if I'll slow you down. Joker! You're the reason why I'm not alone right now. It's all thanks to you. I'm sorry. I almost lost my way again. Even if there are times where I think there's nothing I can do, I'll never stop fighting for you or our team. I won't give up anymore. Just as I betrayed my distorted father before, I will betray my boring former self now! Thank you, Joker. Before I met you, I had great admiration for the Phantom Thieves of Justice. And it's turned out you were exactly the person I always imagined you would be. This is the second time you've rescued me. I've secretly longed for a situation like this. We haven't lost yet. Um... Yo, looks like we're both somehow still alive and kicking. But where at? Huh? Velvet? Man, this prison cell kind of makes me think of when we first met. I remember how Shibuya was all effed up just now, but like, nobody was seeing any of it. No, it was more like they didn't want to see any of it. What the hell? So, even all them people who are suffering and cheering for us to come and help them, in reality, they would have rather just had everything stay how it was? Did what we were doing have any meaning at all? <laughs> You're so freaking tough. You know, back when I thought we were gonna die, without learning the truth about all this, I kind of felt for the first time that maybe we hadn't been doing the right thing. That. Maybe we deserved to lose. You get me? Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I started all this because of how pissed off I was. Maybe it's never been about winning or anything like that. Maybe all I was doing was just continuing my own defiance. It's fine? <laughs> You're right. I get it now. We're doing this to make sure people don't gotta go through the same crap we did. It doesn't matter if they think we're just or not. We gotta do what we believe in. 
It's not like people think much of me anyways. I'm gonna dash through this the only way I know how. <laughs> you got me out of prison. Just like before. Thanks. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to say this, but, uh... I'm really glad I met you. All right. Done getting my ass kicked. That shiny bastard acts like it's some kind of god. I ain't gonna feel good till we deal with it. Let's head out. We're gonna take down that asshole, yeah? Hey. We'll be counting on you. Joker, I'm relieved. Looks like we're both still alive. And you even managed to get out of your cell by yourself. Impressive, as always. Shibuya. What happened? And where are we? Velvet Room? That name sounds pretty kick-ass. <sighs> I guess my fears turned out to be true. The real world is a scary place. Pain like this can never reach you if you keep yourself cooped up indoors. Who am I to think I can tell the people what to do? I mean, I used to be a shut-in myself. Damn it. I just want to go home. But even that would be tough now. Giving up would be too painful. You know, I think I've changed. I don't know when it happened, but I can't... I can't let people suffer like this, even if I don't know them personally. Grown? Honestly, this all seems like a bit too much, but... but... I... You're right. My heart has been set from the start. I don't want to run away from this. I ran from my mom's death for so long. I misunderstood it. Everything was just too painful for me to handle. But I never want to be left in the dark again. That's probably why my persona is a little bit special. Because I want to learn the truth. That's how I really feel. Well, I've come this far. I'll follow you wherever you go, on my own two feet. You have such a strong heart, Joker. You saved me yet again. Thanks. I'm so happy. Like, so much that I can't even express it in my normal words. Anyway, we're going up against a god. I couldn't even leave my own room before, but now we're gonna beat a god! I'm so pumped! And wait a sec. I just noticed I got out of here on my own. Ta-da! A real jailbreak! Oh, you're quick to act. That's what makes you dependable. All right, time to get back at it. Huh? What? What is this place? Who are they? My name is Igor. I am the master of the Velvet Room. I am Lavenza, a resident of this place as well. We have been waiting for all of you. Velvet Room? 
My master has just been released from a long period of imprisonment. His powers have not fully returned. Though it may be presumptuous of me, I will speak on his... Hey, where's Morgana? Would you like to see him? He's right over there. That's where you were hiding? I... was born here. It was to dispel an evil being from man's spiritual world. Mona? My role was to find the trickster and help him defeat it. That's why I was created here by my master. Indeed. I really remember everything. When this place was about to be taken over, my master gathered the last traces of mankind's hope. He mustered up his remaining strength to make me. The entity that calls itself a god is a malevolent will that forces man into everlasting servitude. It hopes to attain eternal peace by filling reality with those who have stopped thinking for themselves. That is the ruin of man that this evil god envisions. I... um... don't get what you're saying at all. Oh, be quiet and listen! We don't have much time left! W wait a moment. The Holy Grail is a, a god? I was wondering why it had a will of its own, but... Are you implying that it isn't a treasure? No. As the distorted desires of the masses, it is most certainly the core of Mementos itself. Then, did the treasure become a god because people wished to be ruled over? That is correct. To decide the fate of the world, it chose two people with potential and pitted them against each other. One, Goro Akechi incited the masses' distortion. Had he won, the world would have been destroyed and remade. The other was a trickster who would stand up against this. That was him. If he won, the human world would be left as is. Those were the conditions of the game. At least, that's what should have happened. That malevolent being knew that a revolution would not occur within indolent humans. After all, it is the masses' distorted desires incarnate. However, my true master believed in humanity. He believed that a trickster would rise among the people and accomplish this change. But that evil entity laughed at the prospect and sought to prove the powerlessness of man with the game. And he had great potential, which is why it approached him. It helped train the trickster only to cast him into despair, using the masses who rejected their savior. This was likely its means to nip in the bud anything that would pose a threat. Now that I think back to when I was separated, I felt a disagreement to the word rehabilitation. Of course I did. It was just a means for the fake to keep you under surveillance. Basically, this guy was dragged into a game where the evil god rigged the outcome. Damn it! What the hell? Your real world has already been fused with mementos. You do not exist because reality is replete with the cognition of those who deny the Phantom Thieves. It can be said that the world is one step away from the evil god's machinations. However, there is still hope. Now that the evil god's identity has been exposed, you can see your rehabilitation to its completion. Only you can leave this prison and save this distorted world and its captive people. Young man, guided by Morgana and worthy of the trickster name, you must challenge the evil god and reclaim your existence in reality. Are you up to the task? Let's destroy that annoying shiny treasure jerk for sure this time! <laughs> Excellent. There is nothing to fear. You already possess the strength to oppose this evil god. <laughs> I am truly looking forward to this. Our mutual friend knows where the exit is. Morgana, please guide them, and thank you for all that you've done. It's a cruel responsibility that's been cast upon you. I will accept your words of appreciation fully when everything is over. Now follow me!